Now, most of you have heard the saying, feed a cold, starve a flu. But if you're like me, you may not have known quite what to feed a cold. When you know that you need to be taking in extra nutrients, you're starting to feel yourself getting run down. What is it that I should be eating and what kind of things may not be so helpful? That's what we're gonna talk about today. Now, as you can tell, I'm still wearing my summer clothes and this is the time that I wanna start preparing for uh, food in the freezer for when I'm not feeling so great. I'm gonna use uh, some information that I've learned both from personal experience when I get sick, uh, also a wonderful article I found in Fitness Magazine in April of 2014. And it talks about um, healthy strategies for eating and the boost that we need when we're not feeling great. Here are some foods that are fabulous to eat when you are not feeling terrific. The first one is going to be oats. Now I like to buy Quaker Oats Steel Cut they're still quick oats though, so you can cook them as fast as the rolled oats. What they say about oats is that millions of bacteria and viruses constantly bombard your body. Beta-glucan, a special fiber found in foods like oatmeal and barley and mushrooms. Um, in your body, every immune, system, immune cell in your system has special receptors designed to grab onto beta-glucan, kicking up the activity of white blood cells that gobble up bacteria and viruses. Long story short, eat oatmeal. It's a great thing to have. Next up, we have shrimp. Now, of course, if you have a special diet, you're vegan, vegetarian, or you have allergies, um, you're going to modify, but maybe there's something in here today that you can use. Shrimp is next up. Shrimp, I like to keep frozen, already cooked, peeled shrimp in my freezer. Throw a couple in boiling water. I can even just run them under hot water into the tap, eat them with a little cocktail sauce. What it says about shrimp is that they're selenium rich, which is really important. Um, they up your body's production of cytokines. These proteins tell your immune system to work harder. So things like shrimp help that to happen. And without enough of this mineral, you're going to feel more of the flu in your chest. It's going to cause those respiratory issues. Bronchial cells uh, will tend to pump out extra mucus, mucus. So this is a great friend for me because as a person who struggles with asthma sometimes, this is really especially lung friendly. There's your shrimp. Next up, we have our chicken breasts. Now what I like to do is again, cook off some chicken breasts, slice them up so they're in nice um, thin pieces, fully cooked, and just pop them into my freezer. That way I can microwave them and just have them with a little bit of Heinz 57 or A1 sauce. I can put barbecue sauce. I can put them in uh, chicken soup, which is my favorite thing to cook when I'm not feeling well. I take these already cooked chicken breasts, throw them in a stock pot, throw in a few uh, bits of carrots, potatoes, celery, onions. I might have those pre-cut in my freezer too. I like to have pre-cut veggies for omelets and stuff in my freezer. And then I've got myself a chicken soup ready to go. I'll make a giant pot of it uh, at the beginning of the week when I'm not feeling great and I'll eat on that all through the week. Chicken is really good because uh, when a virus infects you, it can multiply more than 100 times in as little as an hour. To keep that from happening, your body fights back by churning out antibodies um, the minute it senses an attack and to make these, antibi these antibodies, your body needs protein. So ideally a lean source of protein like chicken. Next up we have yogurt. My favorite is Faye yogurt. Yes, that's how you say it. I like the 0% so it's 0% fat, but because it's this Greek, it's super creamy and rich, very decadent. I will tell you as a person with asthma, I cut out all dairy when I get sick. But if that's not an issue for you and mucus is not a problem in your lungs, maybe you tend to get different kinds of sicknesses, um, this could be a great option for you. What it's saying about yogurt is the probiotics. We know that most sicknesses start in the gut. This will help keep your body natural, naturally moving. I personally take a probiotic pill when I'm sick. That way I don't have the dairy mucus causing uh, dairy, but I do have the probiotics. I can also get probiotics in liquid form, dairy free. Uh, next up we have vegetable juice. I am a huge lover of V8. I know they've come out with some fruit juices, but I like the tomato juice. I keep a bottle of this open immediately as soon as I get sick. I have a glass open in my fridge that I can sip on throughout the day. That way I don't even have to unscrew the bottle and find a glass, it's there waiting. I love V8 because you can store it on your shelf. So you can have it in the kitchen ready for you when you feel sick without it expiring, without it going bad for quite a while. So this is a great way to go. Vegetable juice is good because 
getting 200 milligrams of vitamin C from food, people who did that were half as likely to catch a cold. Not vitamin C from a pill, but from food. A low sodium veggie juice is good and supplies 40% of your immune enhancing vitamin A. I happen to like sodium, so I get the full kind, but if you're low sodium uh, in your needs, you can buy the low sodium kind. And the last one we're gonna talk about is Peanut butter, we're talking about natural peanut butter. I get the fresh ground kind at my Whole Foods type store or health food type store. You can also throw peanuts uh, into a uh, food processor, whip them up a little bit and you've got your own homemade. Uh, I will eat this with bananas, I'll eat it with apples. Peanut butter is really good because two tablespoons provide 20% of your cold busting vitamin E. Uh, this guards your cells from free radical assaults that weaken the protective outer layer from and protect from foreign invaders. Vitamin E from food can help lessen sip, 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 uh, symptoms if you do get a cold. So that's from the article. Let me tell you my personal phase when I get sick. I like uh, coconut um, oats. So I cook up some steel cut oats. Here we are. And I throw in a little shredded coconut to make it taste nice. I can also use quinoa, which is gluten free. I prefer gluten free when I'm sick. Chicken soup with no noodles. Again, I avoid gluten when I'm sick, so I take out the noodles if I buy canned or if I'm making my own, I just don't put it in. Potatoes, chicken, and veggies is perfect for me. Uh, I like bananas with real peanut butter. As I said, I will roast veggies in my oven and put them together, bell peppers, onions, garlic. Remember, onions and garlic are great for your immune fighting. Uh, they he heat up the body, and I just roast those in the, veggie in the uh, oven. Sweet potatoes, also really good and easy to digest. Uh, I like to have berries for something sweet. I get candied ginger, which again, ups the body's heat, helps it fight the sickness. Uh, I will eat kind bars, which are my favorite gluten-free nut and fruit bars, uh, easy for a snack. And then the last thing I like to eat is grapefruit. Of course, everybody's got their own special immune fighting thing. And the last one I will show you for me personally is my green superfood smoothie. I'm not a big fan of green smoothies, so I will add this to a chocolate protein shake or I'll put it in with a fruit, um, like a uh, icy type thing. This guy, especially immunity uh, serving, is by Amazing Grass. Uh, touted as one of the best and I love it because it's a lot of nutrients without a lot of food. So when I'm trying to keep myself really fed while I'm sick, this is an easy way to ingest it. I just sit there on the couch and drink it while I'm resting. can keep me super healthy. I hope you found some use in our uh, feeding a cold list today. Get these things in your kitchen before winter comes. Uh, put them in your freezer, put them in your cabinets. So easy to put together. And then the next thing you know, you're able to fight off that cold that much faster. Thanks for joining me. I hope you enjoyed our time together. Please subscribe to my channel, share with a friend, and I'll see you next time.